Hey, hello everyone. How are you all today? So in the last class, we have started with group cohesiveness. Like, what do we mean by group cohesiveness? And we have also completed the four factors of group cohesiveness. That is the nature of group. Either the group is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Then we have also discussed about the status of the group, the communication, and as well as the size. Now today we'll be starting with the topic or the point called level of autonomy, and then we have more four points to deal with. That is types of leadership, pressure from outside, attitude of the management, and interdependence in the group. So these are all the factors that contribute to the group cohesiveness. So let's start with point number five. Level of autonomy. Try to understand autonomy here doesn't mean automatic or something very you can say mechanical. No, autonomy here refers to uh, independence or I could say freedom. Okay. So if in the organization, sorry, if in the informal group or in any kind of group, if you have a level of freedom to speak to everyone. To uh, talk about any topic, you're not restricted. Your views are not restricted, and uh, you are very independent of each other. Then there are chances that the cohesiveness is less. Now try to understand why less. I told less because you can have any kind of thoughts, you can have any kind of opinions, and there is no restriction. So here, what happens is the more freedom you have, the more you're open to new opportunities, new uh, situations, new circumstances. Whereas, if there is dependency in the group, like suppose there are two members in the uh, two or more than two members, for example, but two members of the group are best friends. They want each other support. They are. you can say uh, supporting each other in any way or form uh, if the person says this is not a good thing and trust me this is not a good thing the other person completely agrees that if you are uh, finding that this is not good i trust you again that this is not good and we can move forward with that so here what is happening is both of the people both of the people are supporting each other at that case there is high level of cohesiveness but if the two people are completely independent of each other they have complete different opinions complete different experiences they might end up having conflicting thoughts having difference of opinion and all that so here uh, le in level of autonomy you need to understand that it also determines the group cohesiveness in less autonomous groups less autonomous where there is less freedom group the members of the group are dependent upon each other they cooperate with each other so group cohesiveness is more so where group cohesiveness is more where there is a lesser amount of i could say uh, autonomy and more dependency on each other whereas uh, the more autonomy group because of independence they work in their own way so if you have more independence they are going to work on their own way and you will not be able to get the results which you are trying to find okay the next one is types of leadership here we have task oriented leadership and relation oriented leadership task oriented leadership is only concerned with completion of task that how you are going to complete the task task oriented leader is only and only concerned about the work uh like what are the steps are to be taken to complete that work all that whereas when we talk about relation oriented leader we are talking about a person who is involved in the relationship making process or who is involved in putting the relations first rather than the task so only by explaining these two i think i'm able to make sense that task oriented leader if we have task oriented leadership the cohesiveness would be less because the person will not care about anything else he want his work to be done that's it whereas when you talk about relationship oriented 
leader or relation oriented leader this person will more focus on the relation or the togetherness of the group then this person if this kind of leadership is there then there are chances of having having good cohesiveness in the group so that is the main difference between uh, types of leader and in the first one the cohesiveness is less and the second one the cohesiveness is more i have explained you why you can just read it out pause the video once and read it out okay uh, let's move to the next point that is pressure from outside yes if you have lot number of environmental changes it also affects the group cohesiveness how let's see the external environment in which group exist uh influences the group cohesiveness this external environment comprises of other informal groups supervisors top level officials when the pressure from external environment is high in such condition it becomes threatening for the group members to maintain their identity they take this pressure as stress and work hard seriously by cooperating with each other to face the pressure hence the group who seriously takes the pressure from outside has more cohesiveness so it totally depends upon the group and how does the group responds to change or responds to external pressure if all of the people together they feel that this is very very important this uh, change is drastic we need to take care of this change we need to adjust accordingly then the group cohesiveness is very nice or huge whereas if i talk about if what if all the members they don't take it seriously they say okay change why it's mai kaun si badi baat hai if they act like that then the group cohesiveness is less so pressure from outside if taken seriously then the group cohesiveness is good pressure from outside if taken lightly or non seriously then the group cohesiveness is less is a simple topic the attitude of management yes attitude of management plays a vital role in the groups the group formation also and the group management also as well as in group cohesiveness so if the management is very open like uh, many times what happens is if you are in a very strict environment where management does not allow you to talk to other departments where management uh, restricts the communication as well as the access of information at that particular time what happens is there is a restricted attitude of management where management is trying to uh, you can say partition the entire system breaking uh, by breaking it into very small chunks and controlling each and everything micromanaging it so that is uh, the attitude of management so if the attitude of management is such rigid then the cohesiveness is it's very difficult to increase the cohesiveness because the main restriction is coming from the management but what if the management is very open management does not restrict the communication among people the communication among uh, divisions the communication among departments they are very open they like that their employees are communicating with each other making groups spending time if that is the case then the cohesiveness would be more because each and every person has the opportunity to communicate to the other person has the time to uh, spend uh, with the group and various things so here attitude of management also plays a vital role or uh, it is one of the major factors that if the group cohesiveness is going to increase or decrease so let me just read out few lines for you each organization consists of many informal groups the attitude of management towards these group affect the group cohesiveness when the management generates the feeling of cooperation among the groups members and considers all the members equal in such case group cohesiveness is high whereas when the management generates a feeling of com uh, comparativeness in the case of members develops a feeling of jealousy so here it's uh, with a different example they have explained it but it is the same thing the last is the interdependence of the group this is one of the extended version of point number 
फाइव लेवल ऑफ ऑटोनोमी लेवल ऑफ ऑटोनोमी मीन्स लेवल ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ फ्रीडम हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटर डिपेंडेंस सो इफ मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर द कोहेंसिवनेस वुड बी हाई वेर एज इफ द ग्रुप मेंबर्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ईच अदर आर वेरी यू कैन से इंडिपेंडेंट और आर वेरी फ्री दे आर नॉट दे डू नॉट नीड सपोर्ट हेल्प और एनी रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम द अदर मेंबर देन द कोहेंसिवनेस इज लेस फॉर दैट यू कैन जस्ट रीड इट आउट बिकॉज दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम थिंग विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन द पॉइंट नंबर फाइव दैट इज लेवल ऑफ ओटोनोमी सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन प्लीज मैंशन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो दैट आई कम टू नो अबाउट दिस एंड आई एल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दोज Let's move forward with the group thinking. In the next lecture, we will be starting with this topic and moving forward. So take good care of yourself. Study hard, everyone. Bye.